Hey, what's up guys? Smash Tech here. We have this iPhone 15 Pro. This is Meowtech's old phone. And we're gonna be doing a water test on it today. So this is that uh, nice white titanium color. Yep. And as you can see, it works fine. This is fine. Uh, the screen protector. Let me turn it on. So this is a screen protector on here. It's not actually cracked, but it's in really good condition overall. It doesn't really That's have any big, scratches uh, or anything. We're gonna take it out of the case real quick. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get right to this. We have some water here and we're just gonna start with a little bit of water. First, we're gonna start with this small container here. We're gonna leave the case on. All right, so here we go. We have the stopwatch. Um, I am gonna start it about 10 seconds before just cause I need time to put it into guys access mode. Let's just start it here. I'm gonna turn off touch on the display. I'm gonna turn everything off, hit start. And now we can't um, stop the stopwatch unless exactly. we turn guided access off. So let's get to this. Let's just pour the water in. Starting at 20 seconds. So we're just gonna leave this in here for a while and come back and check it out. We do have some more tests planned and uh, in the end we will be water damaging it one way or another. We are going to let water in, but for now we just wanna test that seal. You know, it's never been opened. It was used for a good, I would say five, six months at least. So we're gonna see here what happens. We got a little bug in the water, let's get that out. All right. All right, guys, update. We are 20 minutes in. Something I do notice is that the phone is a 2%. I maybe should have charged it before we started this because we can't charge it with a charging port full of water. Nevertheless, let's pull it out of here because I think 20 minutes is pretty good. All right. I feel, I feel like it's heavier, guys. Maybe it's all the water in the case. It's soaking wet at this point. Definitely clean at this so, point. I don't see any water in the cameras, front camera. I actually do possibly see a little something inside that front camera. Guys. You should take the screen protector off of it. Oh, look, there's like water in between. Like if you look on the edge, I don't know if they can see that. Oh, what the hell? It's stuck down? It's really stuck down. This this is the same one that's been on here for a couple months now. It wow. is also decently scratched up. Yeah, that is still works just fine still fine the camera yeah that's normal the sun was hitting it at an odd angle but it's definitely fine i say we're gonna take it inside and charge it first just so it doesn't die yeah we're gonna try and charge um, it we will be back okay we're gonna that should be good here and see if it charges look at this it's telling you liquid detected So I think if you plug it in again, I thought there was an emergency override option. There used to be. Maybe they changed that with iOS 18. Oh, look, it's charging now. All right, let's leave it here for about, I would say like 10 minutes. Just yeah. let it get nice and full. And by the way, the battery health, just to prove that this is barely used, the battery health is at 100. So we're gonna put it in this like bin, which is full of water. Yeah, it's, it's perfectly still fine. fine. No water in the cameras, nothing. So this is a two and a half gallon tank. So this is probably about halfway full, maybe a bit less. Yeah. So let's start. All right. There let's it see is. what happens. We will be back. So it's been 22 minutes and let's it's still it fine. We think it's fine. And it's all good. Um, so there's one last test I want to do before we uh, go ahead and kill it. What I want to do, I'm just going to fill this with water like this. Close it and shake it. Oh, that got me in the eye. So let's just kind of go like this. This is simulating higher pressure water, you know. Um, just shake it around just like that. I wonder if it's getting any damage from this. I doubt it. I think your like, little box is probably more prone to get damage from that. Yeah. Yeah, 
I'd say that's probably about enough. Let's take it out. It's, it's still fine. Fine. I mean, I, this is not really a phone that you can water damage. You know, it's uh. And sorry, you guys are probably hoping for better results, but I mean. We're gonna water gonna... damage it though. Yeah. So we're gonna take these bottom screws out first. And we are going to force inject water into this phone. We can insert this into the hole, flip it over, and here we go. Three, two, one. That's like half the bottle in there. Go ahead and do this one. That's going directly into the phone, by the way. Yeah. Let's just put some paper right there. Look at that, sputtering out the other hole. So, wow, that's so fine. That's a scat pack. All right, let's just stop the stopwatch over here. And it's still running, it's still working. But I'd say you should put it without any screws into that. Okay, let's turn it on. Just, uh, is it bubbling? I'm gonna press on it to make sure the water gets it. Look at that, guys. Okay, it that's goes the right water. The now we know for a fact there's water in it. And since it's underwater, that is not coming out. Yep, it's only a matter of time until this phone gets jacked and completely half. gives up. Yep, we're gonna leave this for a couple minutes. And one thing to note if you have one of these newer model iPhones, like an 11 or 12 or newer, if, if it gets water inside, you are not going to see the results immediately. It could take days even sometimes if it's a small amount of water before, before you start seeing results. And in that case, it might be, you know, too late. Don't touch my truck. Don't touch my truck. That's not It's okay, still guys. on after like 15 minutes. It's I don't even see any water in the camera either. Let's pull it out here. Oh, guys, it just turned off. Oh. Look, look what happens when I squeeze it. There's water flying so this out. This was of it. full of water, guys. Let's take full. this inside. We're gonna inspect it. Oh, the camera, the top camera, is actually full of water. If you look closely, you can see. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, that was almost kind of bad. It's back on. It's back on. So it boot loops, but it's back on. So it seems like it's working again. You saw that, guys? It was full of water. When I squeezed it and a bunch of water came out, I already been squeezing it. Look at that. You can, so you can see, let me dry it off. The camera is mostly still good. You can definitely see a little something on it. Um, but I mean, it still works just fine. Let's try the front camera here. It's still good. Um, honestly, if I didn't know this phone was water damaged and I didn't see these cameras, I would not know that this phone was literally just full of water. So we're gonna take this inside and inspect it in a minute. So here we are and it's still working. You can see the water in the front camera now, but the face ID is fully working. There's that water in the back camera, so you know there's water in there. And we put it here, and it traveled up to here. Yet somehow, this phone is just fine. Let's see what we can do by plugging it in. So I'm just gonna... You're gonna pull water all over the All right, I'm plugging this Duard in here. You can hear the speakers are messed up. Speakers are definitely full of water. Oh, it turned off again. This should get it uh, get it going. You know, wait a minute, hold up. The air is staying in it. I wow. can feel it like, that's crazy. It, it's sealed in there. It feels like a swollen battery, but it's not. 
Did you get that on video? I got the end of that. There's water this flying out. This screw shot out. You know what I want to do? I want to inject air into one hole and see what comes out the other. So face ID still working. We got both screws out. Now let's see what happens if we inject some air. Oh, what was that? So we might actually, so be, this phone is like really sealed. We might break the LCD by doing this. So we got to be very careful. I think something just Put came out of the way. action button. No, it popped the screen up. Oh yeah. That's what happened? Look at that. All right, guys, we're opening this phone up right now. Gotta we're gonna be careful. See what happens. Don't want to uh, break anything. I'm on a diet. I think it'll open right up. We got some dude behind us hovering. I don't know what he's looking at. I'd say put a fork in it. Pop the seal. Go. Let's just gently jack it open here. And there we go. It is all wet inside. You can see that red indicator there. Yeah, I mean, I really don't know how this thing's still on. All right, so the phone is open. Let's see, is it still turn on? Okay, so let's put this in the water right now, see how long it lasts. There's the NAND chip right there. You can see it's uh, got water all up inside of it. Two, one, it's in. Look at that, guys. Fully underwater, and it's still on. Look at this. I can see in the reflection the phone's still on. Add some water. Bend these clips too much. This is kind of insane, guys. This is one of the most water resistant phones out there. Yeah, you put water inside of it where it, it's not supposed to be and it still remains working. Yeah, so your cameras are probably not gonna work. But if you need to get your data off of it, you probably have some yeah, time. Yeah, you replace your battery, your screen, this thing will be back working. I have no idea how this phone is still on. We should face we could ID. add some salt to the water. Yeah, let's do that. Does Face ID still work is the question. Doesn't seem to be working. That might be because um, the screen is halfway turned off. Wow. Face ID still functions. <laughs> This is just because um, there's water on it, but it works. Let's add some salt to this. Or can I just get those salt packets? Do you have any? Salt? Yeah, just like packets. Yeah, perfect. Thank you so much. All right, guys, it's been about three minutes and we got some salt for it, but it's just crazy that this phone is on and working still. Salt water absolutely destroys phones, by the way. Let's see if the face ID is still working. Face ID is it's probably dry. crowded. Okay guys, we're ready to add the salt. So let's, the water is nice and hot now. I'm just gonna put a little bit. This is gonna kill it instantly, I think. We're good to go. Let's see if the face ID works. No, the face ID is gone for good. Oh, three, two, one, here we go. It's in the salt, let's add a little bit more water here. It's fully covered up now. in there. Let's make sure it gets all over the insides. How this is still working with what we've done to it, these phones are truly indestructible, you know? They yeah. Oh, oh what look, happened? Look. That's a screen. The screen is going out. Look at that. Look at the line. Oh. Good angle on that. Let's see if I can access like Siri. Yeah, so the phone is still like somewhat functional. You can see the dynamic island there. Yeah, that in between part that you never will see light up is uh, now on. Usually in between here, in between the camera and the face ID stuff, all you'd see is those little green and orange dots to let you know if the microphone camera is being used. Um, oh, there we go. Okay. Nope. It's like the more you move it, the more messed up it gets. Let's pull it out here. Oh, just died on me. Honestly, I say that's enough with the water. Let's pull it out here. Okay, guys, we're now here. This is the aftermath of the salt. Look, you can actually see already salt particles dissolving. 
on that battery there. It's boot looping. You can see the apple kind of fading in and out. Is it smoking? <laughs> yeah, it's not smoking. Look how much water is in here. This is just kind of insane. Is it on? It's safe, it's safe. Let's see if I can... So this is like displaying the Apple logo right now, but we're not gonna see it because, yeah. Screen is like completely green. I think it's the screen is gone now. Oh yeah, this is the keys to my 2023 Subaru WRX um, with an automatic transmission. It's um, right there, that's my keys. Gently guide this water out of the phone. All right, so. That's the first 15 Pro that we've ever done on the channel. And this is the latest iPhone that we've done on Smash Tech so far. So what happened to the 15 Pro? Well, after that last clip, it no longer turned on. So that just proves how water resistant and tough these new iPhone logic boards are. They will withstand a lot. Now, by all means, do not recreate this video it's not a good idea. It's going to break your phone. Even if the water damage isn't immediately apparent, after a couple hours, days, even weeks, it will start to show. It's really hard to be scientific with these types of tests. We wanted to do a normal pool test like we just usually do, but we feel like that wouldn't get an actual grasp on how this phone survived. For future tests, I think that it might be worth it for us to start looking into more advanced systems, something like everything Apple Pro used to do where we have these clear kind of jars that go down six or so feet, but we need a lot of water to fill that up and we don't have a hose at our location at the moment. But that is the end of of the 15 Pro water test. If you guys enjoyed this longer style of content, a like would be appreciated. Um, this video definitely took a lot to make, but um, I'm glad that it's made. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, a like would be appreciated. You can subscribe to see us smashing all kinds of devices. And with that said, goodbye.